Hey guys, that monkey went back here for another video. Hopefully the video is looks good. I am using OBS again. I hope it doesn't mess up. But you know, you never know with OBS. It's kind of iffy, especially when you first start. Guys, I will be actually running solo challenges in this um, whole entire video of me playing. Uh, I'm sorry, sniping series without my gamer. It's episode 41, I believe. And my whole point of this episode is. I'm going to be, you know, running some solos, seeing if you guys, um, kind of doing the solos. If you guys have not done the solos already, go ahead and do them, and you can, you know, we can do them together. I'll show you exactly what plays I call. Uh, this is actually the one at the end of the passing one, where you have to get, um, 400 or more passing yards or four passing touchdowns. So that's this one, guys, and today, all I want to really talk about is, um, I know... EA Sports has been getting a lot of stuff recently about, you know, stuff they have done where, you know, they kind of, they kind of, in a way, took the consumer, us, said, you know, we made a mistake and then 100% blamed us. So, they pretty much said, okay guys, um, yeah, we put a set in the game, right? We messed up, but don't worry, we're not going to be the ones they're going to blame. We're going to blame you guys for it. So what they did was they pretty much took, they messed up, and instead of admitting that they messed up, they decided to blame us. Which, why did they do that, I can't, exp I can't explain to be honest. And as you guys know on this channel, we don't talk fondly about EA on this channel. I have never talked fondly about EA on this channel. And the reason why is because I do feel very passionate about EA Sports. When it comes to a lot of the stuff they do. Now I understand um, where they come from. You know they don't want to have you know these people on the game. That are just making billions of coins. Because then you're not going to buy packs. What you have to understand guys is everything they do is from a business point of view. And the business point of view of their things is going to be that they want you to spend as much money as possible on their game. And yeah it's a business. So obviously that's what they're going to want. But the thing is, they don't realize, and I don't think, I mean, they're not going to realize this, is that we're the people who's spending the money on the game. Like, they're blaming the people who spend money on the game. They're blaming us, you know? They're blaming us for something that they made a mistake. Yeah, we took advantage of it, but it doesn't mean that they just blame us for it, you know? That doesn't mean that they 100% just go out and say, oh, it's your fault, even though we messed up. What they should have done... And this is what I think they should have done. Given back all the coins. If you guys do not know, they took all the coins from people. I, I don't know if they took away all the coins, period. Meaning, like, they took away every single inch of coins people had. I did hear some people had that done to them. But they took away all the coins people made from being on the auction block that, uh, auction block that night. And all the stuff like that. Took away all the coins. They took away all the elite cards. Took away all the bronze cards. Gave people 10k back if, you know, for no reason, I guess, if you couldn't go in the auction block that night. And then what they did was they, um, they banned people. You know, they banned people because they said it's against team, uh, terms of service if you were on the auction block that night and you did a set that they released. So, of course, a lot of people got mad about that and with, you know, good reason they got mad about that. And EA didn't want to talk about it. You know, they wanted to kind of push under the rug. Actually, like it never happened. But the fact of the matter is, what they should have done was... I get it. Take away the elite cards, okay? Because the elite cards were going to crash the market. You had Adrian Peterson out here going for 5 to 10K. Like, that's just crazy. You know, he should not be going for 5 to 10K. Especially not this early in the year. So I get it. The market would crash. And, you know, everyone's cards, everyone's teams would be worth nothing. So take away the elite cards... But do not, do not take away the coins. Do not ban people. Don't do that kind of stuff because that stuff, all it's doing is, it's nothing, it's doing nothing good. Because if the people, even if they were just in the auction house not doing the set, taking away the coins and banning them, all you're doing is losing customers. You're losing customers, you're losing, you know, fans, you're losing a lot of things by doing that kind of stuff. So, that was number one thing that they messed up on and was so stupid. Next thing is banning people. EA, you don't ban people who DDoS people. You don't ban people who 
you know, scam cards. You don't ban people who, I don't know, do other stuff, hack into people's accounts. Why are you banning people that did the set or did the auction block? And I know I'm kind of late to this and, you know, I'm ranting on about something that happened like uh, two weeks, a week, of, uh, I think it's you know, one or two weeks ago. And I know a lot of people are going to say like, oh, yeah, you're ranting on about something that happened a while back. But I, I never gave my point of view on this matter. And I feel like as a Madden YouTuber, as a Mutt YouTuber, I have to give my point of view. Because this is wrong. This is 100% wrong what they did. And I just want to give my point of view because of the fact that I think it's 100% just crazy how they would ever do this. Yeah, this was probably the stupidest business idea they ever did. Because you're losing a lot of fans. You're losing a lot of money. And when you do that, all you're going to do is make fans like me and a lot of you guys out there who've been playing Madden for years say, You know what? I don't like NBA, but I'll give it a chance. And the reason why you're giving NBA a chance is because of the fact that you don't want to have to deal with this Madden Burbo anymore. And it's kind of sad, but that's just how it's, it's becoming. And I know a lot of people are quitting Madden early. They're like, we're not playing this crap game. We're going to 2K. And the one thing I've realized, and I've been trying to make content for 2K, and it's so difficult to make content for 2K. For one thing is, I mean, I'll be honest straight up. I'm not that much of a basketball fan. I've been a football fan my whole entire life. I love football. I love the whole idea of football. I love the aspect of football. I've been playing football ever since I was a little kid. I love football. And that's the thing that I love. I love football. But the whole Madden thing is, it's difficult to play this game. And I get a lot of people quitting it because it's not easy to play a game where you have this stuff happen to you. Where you have to worry about going into your account, doing a set, taking advantage, making coins... Because if you made enough coins off something that they messed up on, they'll take it away from you. And that's just scary and sad and altogether not something that I know a lot of people don't want to be a part of. And as a YouTuber, I'm going to continue playing this game for that reason. But I'll continue to say, do not spend money on this game. Because the fact of the matter is, you could spend $1,000 on this game. And at any second, they could take away all $1,000 you spent on this game for no reason. Just because they claim they messed up and you took advantage of their mess up and now they're saying it's your fault. So that's the scary part about this game and the scary part about what they did. And I know it was one thing. I know a lot of people are going to say, just let it go, just let it go. But it's just, if they'll do that, what will they do in the future, you know? What more will they do? Will they start banning people who have farm accounts? Will they start banning people who, I don't know, don't enter into tournaments, who do not enter, if you don't, I don't know, log into Madden at least once a week, your account's banned. Like, is that something they're going to do now? Because I don't think I'm exaggerating or jumping to conclusions because they already banned some people for no reason. They banned people for accessing the auction house during a time that they messed up. Can you just imagine the fact that they, that's what they did? They So, pretty much, it's like you're playing Call of Duty, right? And you, for some reason, there's something that Call of Duty messed up on. And now, the multiplayer is, like, glitched, right? And you, everyone's ranking up and stuff like that. It's like Call of Duty going in to every one of the multiplayer, like, everyone who was on multiplayer during a certain amount of time, banning... Every single person that was on multiplayer, all their accounts, just because they were playing the game mode during that time. And it's like everyone that wasn't playing, you know, the game mode got some special rewards. Like, oh yeah, you got 10k coins, or you got this, this, and this. Because you weren't playing the game mode. You weren't playing the certain game mode that you love to play because of the fact that we made a mistake. And we won't, we didn't ban mm -hmm. you, but we banned everybody else. And I think that's what, that's what they did. And it's just crazy to think about that they would actually do that. And I, I don't know. It's just, I just think it's ridiculous that they would actually go that far. Um, and just crazy. So that's my whole rant about this is that. I just can't believe that they would actually risk, you know, I, I guess they just don't care. They don't care about us, guys. 
They don't care that we're their loyal supporters. We're the people that on day in, day out, are going to buy their game, grind their game. I spent over, like, oh my god. I probably spent every single day for the last, like, four years grinding out mud and grinding out solo challenges. Trying to get my coins up. Trying to do this, this, and that. And the fact of the matter is, they don't care. They don't care. They don't care about us. They don't care what we think. And they don't... And they really... They could care less if we're angry. They could care less if we're happy. They just don't care. And it, it's sad. But it's. It, I guess that's just how it's going to be. So, yeah, it sucks. It's, it really does suck. And I wish they weren't like that. But at the end of the day, guys, if... Don't spend money on this game. Don't support it. And I know um, gaming uh, powerhouse Adam. He's a, a Twitch uh, streamer. If you guys have not checked him out, go check him out. Funniest dude ever. I literally have watched by every one of his streams. And I think he's streaming right now. And I'm probably after this video going to go watch him. Because he's hilarious. But he even said, he even had a video about it. Where he like, you know, ripped up the... Um, he ripped up Madden or whatever. And he even said, stop supporting this company. And the thing, and the, he's so right. You know, the, the fact of the matter is you got to stop, guys. We got to stop supporting this company. You can buy the game. Like, I'll buy the game every year. Definitely buy the game every year. But don't spend money on packs. Don't spend money on all this other stuff. And if I spend money, it's just because I want to provide content to you guys. But if you're not YouTubers, do not spend money in the game. Never spend money in the game if you're not a YouTuber. And that's my plain and simple rant, guys, is don't spend money and give EA extra money because it's not worth it. And 2K, again, the one... Okay, so the difference is I'm trying to make content for 2K, but it's so difficult because it's one thing is... Well, actually, it is kind of difficult to um, make MT slash VC and 2K. I know you can play Domination and play those kind of game modes, but it's just... Like a you, there's no like moment solos or moment you know challenges and domination, so it makes it so difficult to be able to you know like make a lot of VC slash MT and 2K without spending money. But the thing of the matter is, the fact of the matter is, 2K has upped the pack odds. So meaning, if you do spend money, you have increased pack odds from last year to pull something good, which I think is crazy. And coming from the Madden side of things, you know. Like, that was like, wait, you mean we, we can pull something out of the packs? It's crazy, guys, but yeah, you can actually pull something out of the packs. So, my point of view with that is that that's crazy. That's something 2K really did not uh, great, and I got to give them props on. Because, um, again, the difference between Madden and 2K for YouTuber-wise, like, for me, I don't know what content to make with 2K. You guys can give me that feedback down below and tell me. But I just don't know what content to make. Because I know there's, you know, certain content, like, there's, with a lot of VC, a lot of MT, it's easy to make content in that game, you know, because you can just have different lineups, have this, that, and a third. But without having MT and VC, which I do not, I don't know what to make in that game because it's just not as easy as Madden. In Madden, you know, I can make a lot of coins fast. I can make this, that, and a third fast because there's so many solo challenges. But, like, it's like, imagine Madden without solo challenges, you know? Like, all you have, all you can do then is spend money on the game, and I don't really feel like spending money on NBA because I don't know how many of you guys really want to see NBA content, and I don't know how good of content I can make with NBA. Like, like I said before, I'm a football fan. I love football. And what that means is, I know football. I know football to heart. I know every single player on every single team. I know most things. Now, I'm, I might mess up a lot of times because I don't know every single thing that's live happening. So, for example, I know someone said, do you even watch football? You didn't know about the Chicago Bears and who's injured and who's not injured? No, I don't I don't know who's injured and who's not injured on the Chicago Bears. I watch the Ravens and Vikings, but... The fact of the matter is, even with Ravens and Vikings, I know every single player that went to a new team. I know all the transactions that happened in the offseason. I know all this kind of stuff, and the reason why is because of the fact that um, I know football. You know, I, I know everything about football. I've grown up watching football. I love football. So, for me, 
And I know a lot of people love football, basketball, baseball. They love all sports, you know, the same. But I'm not like that. Okay, I, I'll just admit it. Baseball is boring to me. I find, I'll fall asleep during a baseball game. I don't think I've ever watched a full baseball game. Basketball is also boring to me. I played eight years of basketball. I was really good at basketball, and I'm probably still, I, I think, probably top, like, 100 when it comes to playing with my friends on basketball. And my friends are good at basketball, too, so it's not like they're trash. But I'm pretty good at basketball. And I I like to think, you know, kind of because I'm six foot four and I'm, like, 250, so, you know, I'm kind of, like, bigger dude at basketball. But I'm good at basketball, and I love to play basketball. I hate to watch basketball. I'm good at baseball. I love to play baseball, but I hate watching baseball. I love playing football, and I love watching football. I don't know. I guess it's just because there's a lot of entertaining stuff that happens in football. It catches my eye, catches my attention, so that might be why I love football. But the, I, it just comes down to, I don't know. I, I guess that's why I'm not having, you know, I, I maybe I can't make as great of content for NBA as I can for Madden because I don't know Madden. I don't know football. I, I don't know basketball like I know football. I know football to heart. I know football mo probably more than anything. I don't know basketball. I couldn't list 20 team basketball teams. I could list all 32 football teams. I could list, you know, probably the starting quarterbacks on every single team. I can't list a single baseball team other than the Orioles and Yankees and Blue Jays and... I'm probably at my point there on listing all the teams I could list for baseball. And the only reason why is because I don't watch baseball. So, you guys can tell me down below if you guys do watch baseball, if you do watch basketball. You know, what sports do you watch? Again, hockey-wise, I don't watch any hockey. I don't watch any soccer. Um, football is the only sport I watch. And again, the reason why is because it's the most entertaining sport for me. Obviously, I get it that other people think other sports are entertaining. And, you know, if you do, congratulations. I'm just not like you in that aspect. I do not find every sport entertaining. I find football entertaining. I find... Yeah, that's pretty much it. Football is like the only sport I can actually sit down and watch all day long. And I do that every single Sunday. I watch football from, you know, 1 o'clock to 11, 12 o'clock. And that's because I can watch football and not want to take a break or not need to take a break or, you know, not be like, oh, I'm kind of bored of this right now. Or, you know, I want to watch something else. No, because football is always entertaining to me. And every single team, even if it's not the Ravens or Vikings playing, I still find it interesting to watch. I don't know. Even games I know are going to be a blowout. Like, for example, this weekend, I watched the whole Vikings, uh, not Vikings, Cleveland versus Patriots game. And the reason why is I knew it was going to be a blowout. I just wanted to see Tom Brady go out there and destroy. And he did. He had like 400 yards and I believe three touch or oh, four touchdowns. Three or four. I think I think it was three. But still. And he, you know, I actually know it was four because I think Bennett had three. And then I think uh, LeGarrette Blunt had one. But, like, I love watching that. And... You know, I decided what I'm going to do for, in this video. I decided in this video, actually, and I'm going to tell you guys now. As I made a video yesterday saying, you know, I'm done with that house of game. I'm done with Fancy Truck Stop. I'm not completely done with those channels. And what I mean by that is I'm going to bring that content to this channel. That's my. That's what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to have a, you know, a recap and review every single week. On this channel of the NFL games. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring to this channel a, um, what's it called? I'm going to bring a franchise video of my Baltimore Ravens franchise every day to this channel. I don't know how I'm going to do that. I don't know if I should, you know, take all the videos from my old channel how, that has a gaming and upload them to this channel one at a time. So if you haven't seen them yet, you can, uh, you can see them in order. I don't know how I'm going to do it with that, but I think what I want to do is I want to bring all three channels combined into one. So you can definitely give me a feedback down below and tell me how you like that. So what that means is Wednesdays, Wednesdays will be a fantasy recap. I'm oh, sorry. It will be a recap of the games, reviews of next week, and then I will also bring um, 
you know, my fantasy show where I talk about fantasy waiver wire pickups and stardoms and sit -ums. And then I also bring my, uh, you know, Ravens franchise to the channel. And I don't think if I do that, I might not bring, I'm not, it might not be an everyday series anymore for that Ravens franchise. So definitely down below, tell me, what do you think about that? Do you think it's a good idea? Do you think it would be too much content? Because as you guys know, I do like, I think four to five videos already every single day right now. So do you think it would be too much content or do you think I should actually do it? And it's something that you would be interested in watching because I only want to bring stuff to this channel that you guys are interested in watching. So definitely if you are interested in watching that and you really want to see that, definitely comment down below and tell me. And that's something I really want to do. I want to bring every all all the all that stuff to this channel because I definitely think that would be something that I should have done a long time ago. I don't think I should have had all three channels separate because in reality, you all you guys that are watching my video right now are my true fans. You know, you're my true fans watching this video, and I don't want to have separate videos. I want to have it all as one video. And once again, guys, I say this in every single video, but if you want to join the goat list. The reason why you join the GOAT list is because of the fact that you want to support me extra. So you want to go beyond the call of duty of just supporting me as a YouTuber by watching my videos. You want to support me extra. And right now we already have somebody in there. His name is Nate. He's a really cool dude. I talked to him over Twitter DMs and he's an awesome Vikings fan just like myself. And I that's something that I really want to bring into, you know, with you with um this whole entire thing. You know, I want to combined i want to put together like you know um what's it called i want to have this whole list of you guys that do go beyond the call of duty and of course this is completely optional by joining the goat list but by joining the goat list you all you know either one of three levels your bronze silver or platinum bronze means you're donating me a dollar every single month and you set up a plan that you can donate me a dollar every single month uh, silver is going to be um, five dollars every single month with what Nate is in, and then uh, platinum is going to be a hundred dollars every month. And with these with these donations on this website, what you are going to have is if you are bronze, you are going to be entered into special giveaways, which every single month I'm going to be giving away a card. It it might be 50k, it might be 100k, it could be up to a million coins, and I'm going to be giving it away just to. These patrons or these um you know goatless members, and these goatless members are going to be able to have the chance to win these cards, and that goes for all three tiers. If you're bronze, silver, or if you're platinum. Now, of course, with every tier you get better rewards. So bronze, you just get that. Silver, you're gonna get you gonna your name's gonna be in every single one of my descriptions. So if I make a video, guys, your name will be put in my description. If you are silver, I'm sorry, that's if you're silver. If you're um, platinum, which is $100 a month, you're, you're featured on my channel. Your name is at the, uh, at the end of every single one of my videos. And your name is in the description with being entered into giveaways. So that's just an extra thank you, guys. And once again, if you do want to join, it's completely optional. But it's just, you know, it would mean a lot to me because it's just extra support you guys are giving to me. And I, I can't thank you enough for just watching my videos, let alone even doing this. Now, with all this said, you get some extra bonuses. On on that website, patreon.com, where I will where this whole entire goat list thing is going down, I will be uploading my ebooks. So for example, you guys can see how I play offense, how I play defense, and all that kind of stuff. I will be uploading it to that channel. I'm sorry, that, that page, that like patreon.com. With that, I will be uploading other videos that you guys can see if you are members of the GOAT list. So you get actual content, all this stuff, just for, you know, becoming a member of the GOAT list. So you get all this extra stuff plus the rewards. And, you know, it's just my thank you for, for being awesome and supporting me. For what I love to do for a living. So that's my whole entire point of having this uh, goat list. Having this actual thing. And if you guys want to join. That's completely optional. 
But the reason why I talk about it all the time is because I want to make sure every single person who wants to join has the option to join. Because I know not every single one of my subscribers watches every single video. And if you don't watch it, if you, this is your first time watching my video in like, we'll say two weeks, well, this is your opportunity to join the GOAT list. Join in on some awesome giveaways. Join in in um, all this other cool stuff. And when it comes to... Also, I actually, I don't think I mentioned this, but... Also, if you do join, if you all join the GOAT list, I will I will follow you on Twitter. You can follow me. You know that my Twitter is going to be... Um, it's uh, what's called that much gamer, and you can DM me. I'll talk to you directly. You know, I'm I'm making sure that any if you all get list member, you all I I will talk to you. You know, like I'll make sure I'll be able to talk to you not only in the comic section, but you know, direct messaging. So any questions you have, any ideas you have, anything, I'll be you know I'll you, we can talk and stuff like that. So and I don't know how I'm gonna do it, but I might fi try to find some time. To be able to play my goat list members and actually have them like you know playing them on um what's it called on a youtube video and i'll upload to youtube and i'll you know if your channel i'll shout out your channel whatever and i'll actually place uh goat list members on my youtube so if you guys all interested in all that and possibly p playing me probably kicking my butt because i'm pretty trash at the game um, definitely, again, go down below, you will see a link thing that would say, um, join, you know, join the GOAT list today, you click on that link, and you go to the website, and you're able to join in, and be able to, um, you know, join this great list we're gonna have going called the GOAT list, and as all together, guys, thank you so much for all the support you give me on a daily basics, I can never say, it, you know, I can never stop saying it, because it's so true, you guys support me every single day uh, by watching all my videos, by just even clicking on this video, you're supporting me. So if you all are going to join the GOAT list and go beyond the Call of Duty, you know, there's not there's, there's not enough things I can give you guys. That's just my main simple fact. So once again, guys, if you all are interested in joining the GOAT list and joining this, uh, you know, all these rewards you get for joining, you just gotta go to the link down below in the description and based on what tier you want to be, silver, platinum, uh, bronze, whatever, you will, you know, you will, you will be joining and you will have all the rewards. So, once again, guys, I don't think I'm going to beat the solo challenge in this video because this solo is so annoying. Um, I think I'm going to, and you know what I think I'm going to do? Because I can't give up 300 yards, right? So, let me, oh, are they going to tackle me? Don't tackle me. Don't tackle me. Let me run. Let me run. Alright, I'm gonna start showboating. So I have fun with the ball. Come on, come on, come on, stop. Get to me. Get to me. Oh, no, 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 no. Don't go out of bounds. Don't go out of bounds. Alright, there we go. Fumble! And he recovers it for a touchdown. And he starts celebrating, even though I try to give him a touchdown. Alright, so this is pretty much how you beat the solo challenge. This is actually a very, very easy solo challenge. Because of the fact all you have to do is do that, you know, run backwards and start showboating, start celebrating and stuff like that. It's a pretty easy solo challenge, but, you know, it's just sometimes, sometimes, sometimes. It's not always the easiest because let's say you don't have a good offense. You could easily get stopped every single time and it, this, you might not even get 600 yards. I don't know how some of these solo challenges, they come up with the idea of doing the solo challenge. It's like, yeah, let's just make them get 600 yards in this solo challenge. Like, that just seems like a great idea. Ah, uh, no. And again, guys, this is not my main account. This is a farm account. So, that's why you might see, um, you know, you might be like, Hey, where's your Team Heroes or Man of the Months? Well, this is not my main account. This was my main account. I actually did it on my main account, but I, I did it, like, when it first came out. So, I didn't have my, you know, new Man of the Month hero, so it kind of sucked. Because my new ones would have been a lot easier to win every single game without even trying. Because, in all honesty, that Michael Floyd is a goon. You guys have not played with Michael Floyd. Do it. <laughs> Just do it. You said tomorrow. You said yesterday you, yeah, you would do it tomorrow, my man. Just do it. <laughs> because he is a goon. He is honestly just crazy and all heck. This video has went from bashing EA to talking about the GOAT list. 
to now talking about why you should get Michael Floyd and why Michael Floyd is bay. So, yeah, this video has changed from one direction to another to another to another direction. So, that's just pretty much how all my videos go. You know, we saw in one direction, and then we go to the second direction, and then we go to Harry Styles, because somehow that turned into one direction. I don't know, when I kept saying one direction, I kept thinking of actual the band one direction. And he caught it. And gets out into the one yard line. And now we're going to run it backwards. And that's pretty much it. So that's pretty much it for this video, guys. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And once again, if you would like to join the GOAT list, go down below in the description. Go to the link. Uh, click on that link. And then go to the website and join the GOAT list. And again, it doesn't matter what tier you are. Any support is great support. So I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.